Welcome. Should, should it be welcome or welcome back? Well, there might be first time viewers, so. Anyway. Ian Wayne. The fourth son of Bruce Wayne, also known as Batman. What happened to him and how he redeemed himself? Damian Wayne is the son of Bruce Wayne and Talia Al Ghul and a former Robin. He is the grandson and successor of Ra's Al Ghul, the head of the League of Assassins. At some point, Damien left the role of Robin to make it on his own and left for Europe. He returned to Gotham when his father decided to step down from his role as Batman after years of injuries finally took their toll on his body. It was at this time that Damien's grandfather Ra's Al Ghul sent an army of assassins to attack Gotham, this time using the resources of technology to help with his plan. Damien chose to suit up as Batman and face the League. Bruce was against the idea of Damien using the suit as its AI system could push the mind beyond its rational limit. Damien ignored his father and wore the suit anyway. After wiping out most of Ra's army, Bruce was shocked by the violence Damien had unleashed and almost didn't recognize his own son. Bruce then lost contact with Damien and when he went to the scene of his last known location, all he found was the suit's remains in tatters. Bruce believed Ross had engineered the whole event, knowing the suit would push Damien beyond his boundaries and bring him back into the League of Assassins. However Damien had decided himself that Batman's vision was too narrow while his grandfather was correct. Sometime later, Damien succeeded his grandfather to become the next Ra's al Ghul and leader of the League of Assassins. He sent a squad of assassins to track down and kill former League member Karare, who was in Gotham trying to contact Batman. Still, she was successful in her mission of revealing to the Dark Knight that Ra's al Ghul came back, without knowing that Damien was behind the mask. In truth, Karare was manipulated into contacting Batman purposely by Damien, who wanted to face the man that succeeded his father, as he thought he was just a pretender. When Terry reached the Himalayas, the two fought with Damien telling Terry he was not worthy of the title of Batman, also informing him that Bruce was coming to help him. When Damien's father arrived, he was ready to deliver the killing blow to the new Batman. Damien though decided against killing Terry, as he was deemed too inferior, and his death would bring no honor. He then confronted his father, without realizing that the X-7 suit Terry donned made him regain consciousness. Then, Damien reveals he was just waiting for the suit to take full control, giving him the justification to use his full power, he called his bad dragon Goliath to finish the job and Batman was once again knocked unconscious. Damien explains to Bruce that he was offended by the fact he stopped searching for him, telling him the Batman never stopped when he really wanted to find a man. He then tells about how he was convinced to join his grandfather cause, while fighting the League in Gotham, Damien realized that the vision of Bruce was too narrow, while Ra's al Ghul wanted to help not just a city, but the entire world. As Ra's got to his limits, without the possibility to utilize the Lazarus bits once again, he decided to leave his mission to Damien, giving him the title of Demon's Head. Ra's also knew what Brother I would become, and prepared the League to be a last line of defense for humanity if the resistance fell. Then, the League organized a plan to take advantage of the opportunity a worldwide conflict gave them, the planet needed to be saved from humanity, and cancelling the weakest part of it would make Earth survive. They prepared missiles loaded with a DNA targeting toxin able to detect and eliminate the weakest humans on the planet and now Damien is ready to release them. Bruce is shocked to learn what his son wants to do, but once again Terry gets back on his feet and attacks Damien after apparently killing Goliath. The death of his friend sends Damien into blind rage, leading to a mistake that gives Terry a window of opportunity to kill him, as the suit suggests to do, its programming always pushes for success, and the success is Damien's death right now. When Koru, Damien's right hand, tried to kill Bruce, Terry found the strength to overcome the suit's AI and let Damien go, he saved his father's life and then, also discovering that Bruce saved Goliath's life with a shot of adrenaline, Damien understood that the plans of the original Ra's al Ghul were wrong, renouncing to launch the missiles. But Koru found the strength to rise and push the button. Damien knocked him out, but it was too late. Still, an heroic action by Terry saves the day, and Damien saves Terry's life. After reconciliation with both his dad and Terry, Damien promised that one day he would come back to Gotham to find the solution both Bruce and Ra's always wanted to find, but right now he would stay the leader of the League, as he knew he could do much good in that position. If you enjoy what I do please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell not to miss out on any of my videos being released. Have a wonderful day.